Yeah, what's going on guys? My name is Matros, and we're going to be doing a Undertale Let's Play. Um, Undertale is basically a 2D adventure style game revolving around a little human kid going on adventures in a little monster world. Uh, the game features a bunch of different endings. I think there's up to six to eight, and they pretty much all involve how you decide to play the game. Uh, you can essentially be a little douchebag kid and kill a whole bunch of people, or you could be a nice little six-year-old and make friends and hug everybody. Uh, but the game starts off with this stupid little kid that goes up into this mountain, Mount Ebot, runs into a cave because he doesn't know what he's doing and he's six years old. Where's his mommy and daddy? I don't know. And he essentially sees a hole and he's just like, oh shit, let's check that out. Oh, he trips and then he falls 200 feet and he dies. See, exactly. He's just like, ooh, And he's dead. Blood everywhere. This is about a dead kid. And the adventures he has. So, let's start the game. We're going to press... Z, apparently. And we're going to be naming our kid... A fallen human... To... Tubbs. Tubbs the Kid. And we're gonna have amazing adventures with him. Is this name correct? It is now, apparently. Tubbs. The Chosen One. And he's dead. This is it. This is just the game. You're looking at a dead kid right now. So this is the end of the game. Uh, be sure to give us a like and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Just kidding, he's perfectly fine. Oh, he's really fast. He's a lot faster than I expected. So apparently the controls are the arrow keys. And... That seems to be it. Just <laughs> for now. Oh, there's a flower. Flowey! I'm Flowey! Flowey the flower! Hmm. You're new to the underground. <laughs> I have to find a perfect name for, or the perfect voice for a flower. Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I like, I like a gentlemanly flower. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go. See that heart? This is your soul, which is a little terrifying. The very culmination of your being. You know what, I'm gonna jump back to the other one. <laughs> Give me a second to get the voice in. Your soul starts off weak, but can grow strong. That doesn't sound right either. If you gain a lot of live. What's live stand for? Why, love, of course. You want some love, don't you? I'm a child. Stay. I don't want love for a flower. Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness and pellets. Are you ready? Move around, get as many as you can, or look at the love. Um, <laughs> what is that face? Hey buddy, you missed him. Let's try again, okay? Don't hitch, whoops. <laughs> is this a joke? Are you brain dead? Run into the bullets. I may have seen part of the, uh, the intro of this game for a while now. I've actually been following it, oh god. You know what's going on here, don't you? You just wanted to see me suffer. Oh, that's a lot of bullets now. Did it die? I knew I could dodge it. What a terrible creature, torturing such a poor innocent youth. I uh, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come! Now we'll guide you through the catacombs! This is destroying my voice. <clears throat> this way. Into the perpetual darkness of eternity. Just kidding, there's a door. 
Or there's a star. Uh, so what do I press to in enter? The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. HP fully restored. Sweet! Is there anything else here? Are there secrets? No. Can I read what that says? Nope. Welcome to your new home, innocent one! Not allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. Here we've got buttons. The ruins are full of puzzles, ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move room to room. Please adjust yourself to the side of them. I'm adjusting. What about this button? What about that button? What's this say? Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, both walk not the middle road. It's okay. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Press Z to read signs. Ah, that makes it much easier than enter. Got it. Stay on the path. Oops. I want to stay off the path. Yeah, screw you, sign. I can do what I want. So that must not be the switch, right? The first switch is over on the wall. Please press the switch. <laughs> I did it. Puzzle master. Check me out. Go on, press the switch on the left. Yeah, screw you. I do what I want. No, no, no. You want to press the other switch. I even labeled it for you. I'm saying the same things I just said. Please press this switch too. Splendid, I am proud of you, little one. Let's move to the next room. Puzzles. <coughs> As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. Have a worry done. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. <laughs> <laughs> While you are in the fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Still for time, I will come to resolve the conflicts. Practice talking to the dummy. Do you need some ideas for conversation topics? Yeah, I kind of do. Well, often I start with a simple, how do you do? You can ask me about your favorite books. Jokes can be useful for breaking the ice. Listen to this one. What did the skeleton tile his roof with? Shingles! <laughs> Buzz. It's not. Well, I thought it was amusing. It's it's not funny. I'm leaving. Oh. <laughs> Alright, dummy. You encountered the dummy. Do I have items? No, I don't want to fight the dummy. How do I undo? Oh, okay. X is undo. Got it. Hey, dummy. Let's check you out. A cotton heart and a button eye. You are the apple of my eye. Aww. Dummy stands around absentmindedly. Aww, I thought he would talk to the dummy. Hey, dummy, how's it going? How's your 401k? It doesn't seem much for conversation. Toriel seems happy with you. You're talking to inanimate objects. Hooray! <laughs> you won. You earned zero EXP and zero gold. Uh, very good. You are very good. <clears throat> Sounds like the uh, bug guy from Star Wars. There is another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. To do with bushes? Doesn't, doesn't seem like there was. Oh god! It's a frog! Hey frog, how's it going? I will compliment you. The frog seems to have blinking nipples. Frog, it didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyways. Aww. Oh. Oh no, frog, it! You were flattered, you were gonna be my friend! <laughs> I am not amused. I've always hated frogs. 
Western room is the Easter Room's blueprint. Okay, wait. So, Western room is the Eastern room's blueprint. So this thing? So right up, right down, room. Um, okay. Kind of just spoiled the hint for me. This is the puzzle, but yeah, take my hand for a moment. Don't do it. Don't do it. The puzzle. The puzzle is too much. This is a very dangerous puzzle compared to the other ones. We did it! Hooray! Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for you now. I feel like she would freak out if she saw me going through them. You have done excellently thus far, my child. You will be a Sith Lord soon enough. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Oh god, the music. It's too much. I can't turn back. It's a boss fight. The extreme gameplay. This, this is a very long hallway. Alright. Is there... Am I missing something? Goat Mom, where have you gone? <gasps> Greetings, my child. Do not worry. I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time, which, in the child's perspective, was very obvious. <laughs> Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. <laughs> I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone. Please remain here while Goatmon murders millions. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. Monsters have cell phones? If you have any need for anything, just call the Ghostbusters. Be good, alright? How do I... Oh, okay. C is for inventory. Got it. Tubbs is level one, and he's got a stick, and apparently he is wearing bandages. Oh, 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 okay, this is this is funky. So C to open. Oh, I see. I just don't have items. Say hello about yourself. Call her mom. Oh, I'm gonna flirt. Hmm. What? Oh. <laughs> How adorable. I could pinch your cheeks. You can certainly find better than an old woman like me. <laughs> oh, Mr. Frog! It's been like five seconds, I just called. Hello, this is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good. All right. Mr. Frog, hello! Ribbit, ribbit, excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. I am Count Frogula. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please use some mercy, human ribbit. Oops. What's this? Gumballs? It says, take one, take a piece of candy. Yes. I talk a piece of candy. Whoop, 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 whoop. Playful crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. HP fully restored. Wow. Anything in these leaves? Oh. It's Mr. Frog. I'm going to compliment you again. Froggy didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyways. Aww, he's so happy. <laughs> he's too happy. Froggy seems reluctant to fight you, so I use mercy. Spa! You won! Froggy was obliterated with mercy. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Oh. 
there's dirt on the ground. Oh, it's not dirt, it's a hole. I'm dead. Come all froggies, can I threaten the frog? Frog, it didn't understand what you said, but was scared anyways. Oh, I'm sorry, frog. Frog, it seems reluctant to fight you. I'm sorry, I threatened you. I didn't mean it. I 100% meant it. Whoa, okay. Are all of these holes? All of these are probably holes. Am I losing health for doing that? No. Got it. Ring, ring. Hello, this is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Um... I think if I had to choose, probably butterscotch. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Good. Hello, this is Toriel. You do not dislike cinnamon, do you? I know what your preference is, but would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? <laughs> right, right, I understand. Thank you for being patient. By the way... Oh god, my throat. Why did I choose the crinkliest voice imaginable? Three out of four gray rocks recommend you push them. It's a whimsun thing. Whimsome. It's okay, whimsome. Halfway through your first word, whimsome bursts into tears and runs away. <gasps> I won! Hooray! Puzzles, I did it! <laughs> what was it? Three out of four rocks like being pushed? What the heck? Did you... Oh, how did I do that? It's like a funky little ray thing going on. Uh, I'm guessing there's a lot of holes here. Oh. Okay, no, just monsters. <gasps> Two monsters. Froggit and Whimsome drew near. Oh, apparently I can just spare the Whimsom already. Alright, I'll compliment the frogman. Hey, Froggit, how you doing? You got some really nice blinky nipples there. Aw. <gasps> oh god, there's more things. Oh, okay. This got challenging instantly. Froggit seems reluctant to fight you. Spare! I got two gold. Oh, apparently there was a hole there. Ah, I see. So, to the right, go up, go up, go up. What's this say? Please don't step on the leaves. Got it. So down, right, up, right, down, right, up. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Oh no, frogs! So can I just... <laughs> All right, <laughs> I don't even have to do anything. I'm just like, yeah, you're you're done. I'll let you live. So I was it down. I think this one up to the top. I think this is a hole. Didn't you read the sign downstairs? Okay, that's what I thought. Down here. Nope. Okay, I thought that was a hole. Frog it. Oop. Uh, how do I go back? Froggit hopped close. Get away from me, hot Froggit. Get out of my face, I'll punch you in your nips. Shiver, shiver. Oop, oop, I am not good at this. It's alright, Nip Frog, I'll spare ya. Wait, how do I use my... Oh, yeah, you know what, let's get out of this puzzle first. Uh, I think... Oh... Uh. Oh, it was all the way to the end. Okay, got it. No problem. I'm a professional at this point. Guaranteed I can beat the final boss right now, as is. And I'm instantly forgetting where I'm going. So here, go like this, go like that, and... You tripped into a line of mold smalls. Alright. Uh, flirt. You wiggle your hips. Mold Small wiggles back. What a meaningful conversation. Uh-oh. I would have gotten hit on that one. Does that work on all of them or just one at a time? How about I imitate this one? You lie immobile with Mold Small. You 
feel like you understand the world a little bit better. Slime sounds, sexy wiggle, slime sounds. Okay. Okay. But we just spare two of them. Or we spare all of them. Okay. <laughs> Get over there. Whoa there, partner. Who said you could push me around? Mm hmm. So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you. Pumpkin. I'm a pumpkin. I'll move this one first, though. Didn't move enough. What happens if I stand here? Hmm? You want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? Oh. I may have made a mistake. Hmm? That was the wrong direction. Okay, I think I got it. <gasps> Bingo! Thanks, Rock. Was that helpful? Yes. Can I get your number, Mr. Rock? Add it to my cell phone? What should I do? Let's call her mom. <coughs> this is Toriel. <laughs> Did you just call me mum? Well, I suppose. Would that make you happy? To call me mother? Well then, call me whatever you like. Quick. Wait a second. Mr. Rock, I thought we had a deal. Flirt! You wiggle your hips, Mobazelle wiggles back. What a meaningful conversation! Scorch! I hope we can go on a first date. Spare! You won, you got a gold. Alright, Mr. Rock. You want me to stay there? You're giving me a real workout. <coughs> Aren't things easier when you just ask? I guess, sometimes. Oh, okay, we're at the next save point. Oh, what about this cheese? This cheese has been here quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. Oh, there's a mouse. It's a really talkative mouse. I want to be friends with that mouse. Can I give him the cheese? This cheese has been here. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Alright, this is probably going to conclude episode 1 of Undertale. Thanks for watching. I'm still getting used to the whole commentary shenanigans business thing. Uh, Toriel's voice might change very quickly because I am already destroyed from trying to talk like that. Uh, but yeah, if you liked what you saw, give it a like. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you later.